choosing your book, you want to make sure to choose a hardcover book. Very important. You don't want a soft cover book because honestly, the spine is not that stable. When you go to stand it up, it may or may not stay. And you want something that is going to last long and stay upright. You also do not want a hardcover book with jagged page edges. It has page edges that are different lengths and it throws off your design. You want a book that looks like this. It has a clean general edge, clean top edge, clean bottom edge. It's a firm spine that's not jiggling around. It stays upright fine, is stationary and stable. Now, it's also helpful when your page edges are free of any marks or blemishes. It makes your design nice and clean cut. It's not so much of a deal if there are marks on the top edge or the bottom edge because the focal point is your general edge, your design, and your pages. However, it's best if all the edges are mark free. But sometimes if you're supporting a local thrift store or your local friends of the library group, there may be markings on the top or bottom edge, which isn't that big of a deal. Because after all, we want to recycle and upcycle our lovely books uh, because we're never going to read them again once we do our design, <laughs> honestly. After all that work, you're not going to destroy it. So, plus it's a lovely work of art. Either way, you also want to make sure that your pages are not too thick or thin. That can throw off the design. If they're too thin, like with pages from a dictionary, then your design gets all compressed. You can't really see it. If they're too thick, it's not that big a deal. You can tie a ribbon around it to scrunch your design and make it more visible. But it's good just to choose page edges of a normal thickness. Also something to consider, you don't want any books that have some pictures in them because oftentimes these pictures are printed on a different type of paper and that can throw your design off as well. Most importantly, once you've determined that you have a stable hardcover book that's free of marks on the general edge, that's stable and sturdy, you want to make sure you have enough pages at least for your pattern. Now, the book I'm actually going to be using for our project today, not this boy. He's big enough, so he could certainly be used, but I want a book that is closer to the page count of pages I actually need. So for my basic heart pattern today, I need at least 204 pages. This book right here, it has 210, which is perfect. A little bit over is fine. You don't want to do with under because then you have to try and figure out which marks to eliminate, which can get tedious. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've experienced both ends. <laughs> and it has clean edges. Also, you need to make sure that your book is a certain length by measuring along the edge. So this pattern says it requires a minimum height book of 21 centimeters. I'm cutting mine a little bit close because this one has about 20, oops, 20.5 centimeters. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Either way, it is the book I've selected and it's gonna be the book you're seeing throughout the rest of these videos. Join us for the third part of our video series when we go over what supplies you will need for your folded book art project.